Okay, we're now going to change the oil in the front forks of a uh, Evolution Sportster 1994. Judging by the oil in the rest of the bike, I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, this front fork oil was very contaminated and old. So it'll be interesting. I don't have a uh, a socket for the uh, the top cap there. I expect I should be able to get it on by hand. It'll, I'll at least try, and uh, if not, then I'll have to go out and get the socket. I have to uh, put the handlebars down or remove them. I'll have to remove this uh, front headlight protector, and uh, we'll see how we go. I don't know about you, but it looks a bit like a cut cake. Right, I think I'll have to go out and get a socket, but uh, let's see how far I get. This nut is under a lot of pressure. It's got a spring underneath it, and it's going to spring off. So don't uh, undo it all the way. And uh, I'm going to get a cloth or a, uh, a rag, put it over the top just to protect myself. I'll also wear eye protection. Okay, there's a big uh, rubber O-ring around there. So I'm starting to get to the, uh, the end of the thread. So I'll keep my face well out of the way. And uh, here we go. That's it. Off. Okay, that looks uh, pretty dirty to me. I don't think it's going to be pretty in there somehow. Not very pretty at all, so we've got this on top. We've got, we've got a washer and, uh, and then the spring. Okay, let's do a test run just to see if I've got to uh, go and get that socket. So I've got the washer in. Uh, looks like a spacer, could have been made up or something, I'm not sure. I'll just point out at this stage that the bike isn't up off the ground. I have got a lift, but I um, I haven't got the front wheel up off the ground. So let's see if I can get this uh, nut back on. It's pretty tough. Okay, I've now got the front wheel up off the ground. Voila. Okay, so it can be done. Okay, so let's get the handlebars on and uh, drain the oil. Okay, so the uh, handlebars are temporarily uh, attached. 
I now let the bike down and uh, get the old oil out. Okay, so that's the uh, the screw you undo there to drain the oil. Now I'll try and undo it. If it doesn't undo easily, I'll just get some clamps on uh, on either side of it and and undo it that way. No, that's not going to go. Well, it doesn't actually look too bad. In fact, uh, it's fairly good. Fairly clean. a lot of oil in there. Okay, so front fork oil capacity 266 mil. That's 266 mil. Or 9.0 Oz. 9.0 OZ. Okay, so let's have a look at our oil. It's hard to tell in this light, uh, you know, there's no um, metal parts, there's no sign of any wear and tear, so it uh, doesn't look too bad. It's not, uh, not exactly clean, it's not new, um, but I've seen much worse, much worse. That bike there was uh, all brown and um, rusty. So yeah, I suppose looking at it there, it's, it's not that clean either. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's clean that there and put on the very smallest, uh, beg your pardon, put on the smallest amount of silicon. Just got a bit on my finger there. Just going to dab it on the outside there. So that's just to stop any leaks. Chuck this uh, screw on, it's all good. Now you'll notice just there, we've got a lot of uh, oil there on the disc. It'll have to be cleaned off thoroughly before we uh, finish the job. If you were super fussy, you could cover that with plastic or something. OK, let's raise the front wheel off the ground and uh, put the oil in and put the cap on. OK, let's get this hydraulic oil off the disc. Thoroughly clean uh, all the oil off the disc. Got some mineral terps for this. Okay, so now that hopefully the uh, the bike's fixed, I can um, start working my way around the bike. And um, one of the projects I want to do is install a fairly hefty uh, large size um, oil cooler. So that'll be an interesting uh, bit of work. When you go to get this washer out, uh, you want to use something that won't drop inside your uh, your fork. You'll have to undo or pull your fork apart to get it out. This funnel here, uh, it fits quite well in the in the opening there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. 
um, hydraulic fluid. Um, I'm not recommending that you use hydraulic fluid. You better do your own research and decide for yourself what you're going to use in your bike. Um, if you want to drop me a line and let me know how, uh, how this went with this bike, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay, we're looking for 266mm, which is just sort of in between those two marks there. Okay, so it's just there, so uh, we'll tip it in. Okay, the washer the spacer and the cap I recommend getting the socket. Um, this way you have to remove the handlebars completely out of the way to get the, uh, the clearance. Um, I'll be getting a socket myself, but uh, just to demonstrate it can be done without the socket. Okay, tighten her up and uh, it'll do for this weekend starting to get close to five o'clock so uh, I'll call it a day yeah so that's it um, fork oil change in a evolution sportster